Good morning and welcome to your Farm and Home Show. I'm Christy Scheib and this morning we're visiting with Kristen Hildebrand. She's Warren County's Extension Agent for Horticulture. So we are featuring a super crunchy salad and so it does have some nice texture so I think it'll be wonderful. Uh, just to kind of give you a couple of the ingredients that we're starting from on the greens, we've got um, a pound here of Brussels sprouts and we've thinly sliced that up. We've also uh, got half of a pound of uh, cabbage. Now the recipe calls for Napa cabbage, but they didn't have any whenever I was shopping. So we, you can certainly use red cabbage or green cabbage, either one will work just fine. Get that nicely thinly sliced. And then we've also got kale. And kale, you know, is really interesting because a lot of the textures and colors that it provides can be, you know, unique to the grower that you're buying it from if you're shopping at the farmer's market. So we thinly sliced all of these and the, what we've done is we've run it through a food processor so that way that we can kind of get it all thinly sliced so if you've got that at home I highly recommend it now we're gonna combine all of this so what we're gonna do is we're gonna put our Brussels sprouts into our cabbage and then next after you've added the Brussels sprouts to the cabbage you're gonna take the kale and you can nicely see all the different textures coming from the cabbage also the kale and the Brussels sprouts This just kind of shows you what all the greens look like mixed in together so you can see a, a nice contrast with different things. Now with these uh, pepita seeds, this is a raw pumpkin seed. What we've done at Gone Ahead is roasted this into a, um, into a pan and we've added a little bit of cayenne pepper, a fourth of a teaspoon, a little bit along with some salt and pepper. You just kind of stir that occasionally until you get it nice and toasted. You let it cool for a little bit, but we've gone ahead and done that. So we're just gonna add this onto the top. And then next we've got some dried cranberries. This one's gonna contrast really nicely. We've got about a, a cup and a half of dried cranberries. It's already looking really pretty, Christy. Next, to complement our cranberries, we've taken a can of mandarin oranges and we've gone ahead and drained that. So we're gonna toss that on top. Kristen, the dried cranberries and the mandarin oranges are gonna add some nice sweetness. And then on top of our mandarin oranges, we've got eight strawberries that we've gone ahead and washed and thinly sliced. So another added fruit there on top and then on top of that we've got four thinly sliced green onions and so what we're going to do is give everything a nice toss with our tongs All right, so we've taken a, a zest a little bit of a zest from an orange about a tablespoon and then we've taken the juice from that orange as well. We're gonna add that to a separate bowl. And then we've taken a jar of poppy seed dressing and we just called for about um, 16 ounces. And what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna whisk the two together and this will be our dressing. Okay, last Christy, what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take our dressing it does say to add a little bit at a time and toss, but just for time purposes, we're gonna add all of it and toss it gently. Mm, this smells so good. I can smell the citrus from that orange that we used. And with that poppy seed dressing, it's gonna be a nice complement with all of our green ingredients that we've added, all of our Brussels sprouts, all the cabbage and all that kale. Mm, that is gonna be so good. And like all these greens, you know, you can pick up locally at your farmer's market. If you do have a garden, you can actually grow them yourself. Um, you can have that enjoyment. And we've always talked about the more you grow, the more um, that you'll be able to eat what you do grow. Kristen, this smells amazing. I can't wait to try it. Yes. If someone is watching and they want to pick up the super crunchy salad recipe, how can they do that? Yeah, so you can stop by your local extension office and it's also available on our Planet Up Kentucky Proud website. All right, Kristen, thanks so much for being with us today. Thank you for joining us on the Farm and Home Show and we'll see you next time.